Hi foodies, there are many variations of black cake or Christmas cake or fruit cake, but I'm doing it Jamaican style and this is a puree of dried fruits, rum, wine and spices. So you get your raisins, currants, prunes, um, cherries, you can put orange peel, um, your red label wine, your rum, whatever you like and you puree it. I do it very smooth because I don't like to taste the pieces of fruit in my fruit cake okay so once this is pureed to a smooth consistency then i add some vanilla lemon juice browning so this is like a burnt caramel guys we add this to our food to give it that rich color you can add as much as you like and then here i have lemon lime and orange zest and i'm just gonna mix all of this together of course, if you do have some molasses, that can add to color and flavor as well. And as I said, add as much browning as you like. So we'll set that aside. And here I have all-purpose flour in the bowl. I'm going to be adding baking powder, some salt, and of course spices. So I have nutmeg, cinnamon, cloves, ginger powder, all spice, good stuff. I'll be listing everything in the description box below the video. So just give all of this a whisk and set this aside. Now I'm going to be creaming some softened unsalted butter and I'm going to be creaming it with brown sugar. We use brown sugar because of course it has more flavor and it's going to add even more moisture and color to our fruit cake. You want to scrape down the sides while you're mixing this and make sure you mix this until it is smooth and creamy. It might not be as fluffy as it would be if you used white sugar, but you want it to be smooth and creamy like this. Now we're not using any eggs today guys, but we are using a mixture of oil, baking powder and water. So this is going to give us moisture, it's going to help to bind the cake and it's going to give us that rising that we would get. You know, the egg helps with a little bit of rising. But this is a dense cake, it's a fruit cake. So we don't expect it to be super airy and light. So I'm just going to be using a little of this mixture just to help out a bit, okay? So we're going to add this to our mixture here that we've been creaming the same way we would add the eggs at this point. There are other egg substitutes that you could use like ground flax seed, um, chia seed, there's yogurt, there's tofu. However, if someone's allergic to all of those things, then you cannot use them. Okay, so that's why I like this substitute the most. So once that's blended in, all we need to do now is add that dry mixture with the flour and the wet mixture with the fruits. So start with your dry ingredients, fold that in, and then once it's mixed in, go ahead and add the wet ingredients. And you're just going to alternate till everything is added to the creamed mixture in this bowl, okay? So go ahead, do the dry mix, then the wet mix, then the dry, then the wet, until everything is blended in. If you don't have the patience to fold it in, you know, like the cut and fold method with the spatula, go ahead and use your mixer, okay? Just try to be gentle, don't over mix it. And then here we are, guys, we've got a beautiful fluffy cake batter, okay? If you want more fruits, guys, feel free to add more fruits, it's fine. So I'm going to be baking this in a 9 inch cake tin and I just put a parchment paper cut out inside with a little butter. You can just use butter alone or butter with flour, whatever you prefer. I'm just going to pour this into the cake tin. We're going to be baking it at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours or about two hours and 20 minutes. Depending on how your oven works, you can check it at the two hour mark to see if it needs a few more minutes, okay? When I put this in the oven, guys, on the shelf below this, I'm going to be putting a tray with boiling water to add some moisture to the oven to bake this up really nicely. Okay, so there's a tray underneath with the boiling water and we're going to bake this at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours. 
And here's our delicious cake, guys. I did the toothpick test and it came out clean. So I'm just going to spritz this now with a mixture of Red Label Wine and Ray and Neville Rum. This gives it a little gloss on top and it also adds moisture. So just allow it to cool in the tin and then you can transfer it to a cooling rack, okay? But guys, the smell of this cake... Honestly, it was tempting me. I mean, it wasn't fully cooled, but I had to taste it. So I cut into it and then I took a sample. <laughs> of course, while the cake is hot, it's going to fall apart, guys. So if you're trying to cut this up to share it with a bunch of people, wait till it's cool, okay? But guys, the texture is amazing. It is so moist and it's flavorful i let it cool a little bit more and this is what it looks like it is the perfect in between the pudding texture and the cakey texture when it comes to jamaican christmas cake it is just delicious once this cools completely guys remember it's best to keep it at room temperature just keep it nice and wrapped so it doesn't dry out and you can spritz it with your wine and rum as the days go by but give it a try guys i did not miss the eggs at all it was absolutely delicious thanks for stopping by remember to check the description box for more info and i'll see you guys next time